Morning guys, uh, just want to run through the route for the upcoming double Everest on the 22nd of April. So you can see we've just turned the bottom there, this is the start of the route. This is Margaret Mason Avenue in Durban North, Durban. This is just around the corner from Virginia Circle, which is just off the M4 freeway which runs along the coast of Durban. Um, you can see straight away, clean neighborhood, it's wide. Um, so people can join on the day, we can ride together and still not obstruct traffic which I think is really important you're going to be out there for a long time I estimate it's going to take about 40 hours to complete uh, just going through the first circle here and let me explain why I think it's going to take that long each lap consists of 100 meters of elevation and we need to achieve 18,000. So we're looking at 180 laps of Margaret Mason. Just going up, achieving 100 meters, coming down, up, down, up, down, up, down, 100, 200, 300, 400, until we get to 18,000. It's going to be a long day out. Um, each lap consists of three, well, each lap is three kilometers long and 180 laps. It's 540 k's. It's, um, this is almost the distance between Durban and Johannesburg. This needs to be done in a single session. No deviating off the course and no sleeping. These are official rules of an Everest event. There will be people there to verify this. I will be doing this stimulant free, so no caffeine and drug free. I do not take any pharmaceuticals. I do not take any painkillers, anything like that. There's no drugs involved, there's not going to be EPO, testosterone and all this bullshit. It's going to be done totally clean, totally drug free and this will be verified through blood testing, through the training and the actual event to prove this. So uh, basically out there just to show that this can be done in a plant based lifestyle, we're going to be going through a ton of coconut water bananas, dates, this sort of thing, just getting in the proper fuel to do this. Now, we're approaching the circle again on the way down. You can see that it can be a bit of a hindrance. Got to take it slowly, got to go through it cautiously. Um, and just stay safe. Beautiful neighborhood. Beautiful, beautiful, clean neighborhood. Ideal for an Everest, I would say. This is where I did my first Everest and there was no um, doubt where, I, you know, where I'd like to do this double Everest. So I just think it's ideal. Um, tree is going to be offering a lot of support from the shade or rain. Not sure what the weather's going to be like on the day. Remember what we're doing this for, guys. Durban, cycling, and a plant-based lifestyle. We can do this together. So guys, have a nice day. I'll catch you later.